One race two preview at Sha Tin on Sunday. It's an open class three to finish the program and it is the Kings Park handicap over the 1400 metres on the turf. Circuit Glory's been a first up winner in the past. That was over 1650 at Happy Valley. Blazing Beats a newcomer joins Jimmy Ting, formerly Royal County down with Aidan O'Brien. Good track wins over 1400 metres at Down Royal and Galway. Flying Mighty, formerly known as Hassan Ibis for Kim Moore, has won two in New South Wales, over 1350 at Beaumont and 1600 at Kembla Grange. Entrusted's back a furlong in trip. Wisdom Patch, he's two wins in New Zealand, both on rain affected ground. Joyful Heart, a first up winner, over 1000 at Sha Tin in the past, 1400 on Sunday. Superb Daddy has moved from Peter Ho to David Ferraris. And so we joy has joined David Hayes from John Moore and has had two trials. Circuit Glory and Craig Starr are the two horses which have been up at Chungfa. Made our way across to the touchscreen, Tom, for the speed map in this last race. And can you help us out? Because it's a pretty even field. It's very even field too around at the program. I think Star of Yunlong will uh, end up in front here. And there's not really a lot of competition outside of him for the lead. So Craig Star likely to would be handy. You've got Wisdom Patch, who's got an awkward draw of gate 13, crossover noseband first time round. Chairman Low between runners. Uh, Circuit Glory should be relatively handy. The newcomer, uh, Blazing Beat, will be back with uh, Flo Flying Moody, but uh, it almost looks uncontested for uh, Star of Yunlong up front. His work's been good too, leading into it. You can see Zach Burton doing the work on him. Just nice and relaxed, the horse, as he comes down. Uh, we know he does like to get on the pace from barrier five. If he gets his own way in front, he can be a hard horse to run down. Again, the two, Star of Yunlong. Uh, Blazing Beat, he's one of the first starters. Uh, he's 1,050 pounds. He's had the two trials. Uh, Royal County Down was his name uh, before he got here. You can see he does it nice and comfortably as he uh, finishes off his work. Barrier three should get a nice run. And Wisdom Patch looked a little bit warm in the morning, but Derek Lung was aboard. He's only had the one start in Hong Kong. Seems to have come on a little bit in the off-season, and the cross noseband will go on him as well on race day. David Hayes has had some good things to say about what is a limited race team number since his rival in Su Hong Kong. The stable's growing in number all the time. So we joy as one horse that he has highlighted positively. Joe Marira takes the ride on what will likely be the last favourite of the day. So we joy, Joe. How do you think he's going heading into the weekend and stepping up in class? Well, stepping up in class, of course, he's going to face stronger horses, but at the same time, he's going to carry much lighter weight on his back, which is, in my opinion, is a big plus. He's not a very big, big kind of a horse. The lightweight is going to help him. And um, based on his last couple of races, I would say he's going to be competitive once again. Have you been happy with the way he's felt to you in his work? Uh, at the beginning of the preparation, I was a bit worried about him being a bit fresh. But David has given him a lot of work, calmed him down. The last couple of gallops, he's, he's been giving him good feelings, you know. So I'm going to the race with plenty of confidence on him. And you mentioned David. This is your first ride for David Hayes here in Hong Kong this season. You've won big races in Australia for David. You also rode... Constantinople and the Melbourne Cup for him last year. How important is this relationship for you to build with David now that he's here in Hong Kong? Well, it's always important for us jockey to build relationship with trainers. No doubt the top ones is the one that you want to be closest with. David has been here in the past, has proven to be a champion trainer and it's going to be my first ride and I hopefully I can't, uh, I don't disappoint him, you know. It's a relationship that I want to build for a long term. So we joy currently at 2.5. We'll find out if the boys have got him on top when we get to the selection soon. We need to keep moving with our replays here. We're going back to the trial firstly. Tom, this is a star of you and Long. He's up outside the leader. And further back, we've got Wisdom Patch, who will be hoping if that forecast is right, that the rain might arrive. Yeah, I think he'd need a, a lake for it to, to benefit him on Sunday afternoon. Uh, Wisdom Patch, especially off this uh, recent barrier trial, I didn't see too much, which uh, took the fancy here over the final stage. He was running on a little bit, but mainly focusing on Star of uh, Yun Long. He was uh, nice enough here over the, the final stages, I thought. Uh, with that uncontested lead, Paul, I thought uh, that was definitely going to benefit him. Yeah, I quite like him in this race. I think he's going to get the race run perfectly to suit. He's a one-time winner from his 10 start starts, but when he did win, he did win impressively. Yeah, a bit of time for this horse at times last season, Paul Craig Starr, and this is his trial from up at Chung Fa. Yeah, he's going to find it a little bit awkward from barrier number 11. I can see him going forward, so we can get out to the, to the across, uh, outside the leader easy enough. I think he can make his presence felt. I have got him in on a minor line. 
Yeah, I've put, uh, well, I haven't quite uh, snuck him into the top four, but he was sort of on the cusp. Um, he ran on nicely to uh, win this uh, barrier trial. Um, be keen to see what he does. They did question Danny Schum over the ride last time because they sent him back um, from gate number 13. So question marks on where he ends up from 11. And our final replay is that of superb daddy Tom. He's been a stable change in the off-season. He's gone from Peter Ho and he's now joined David Ferraris. What did you make of his trial? Yeah, it looked like maybe the, the trial of an improver. He's just a, a one-time winner from his uh, 10 outings. Um, widened his barrier trial, but he was really stoked up over the final stages uh, to a win. So interesting that the stable change from Peter Ho to uh, David Ferraris, Paul. Yeah, and these Tavistocks are flying down under at the moment as well. Uh, the superb daddy, and look, he's, he goes nicely, 1,400 metres, even up to a mile maybe. I'm just going to watch him in this race with the new stable. OK, so he's not amongst your top four in the last, Paul. What are? I'm going to go with the star of Ewan Long. I think he's look, really well placed in this race, and if he does get an uncontested lead, tough to beat. So we joy for second. Joyful heart goes well fresh, and Craig Starr in there for fourth. So 2, 13, 10 and 6. On top for me is Star of Yunlong as well. I think he'll be tough to beat in the final race over So We Joy I've got entrusted in. Uh, he was interesting last time out, supported, uh, chopped and changed legs, but I thought in the recent barrier trial, circuit glory on a minor line. 2.13.7.1. Paper and pencils out everywhere, uh, Paul, for your stat. Yeah, now it's um, Douglas White when he uses his trump card. So what, what the trump card means basically is you can guarantee a horse a start. You're allowed to a race meeting. He's got a first three rate of 60% when he uses his trump cards. And he's got um, he's used them twice for this meeting. And the two horses he's used has been in a flame and also willpower. So uh, it obviously gives those two horses really good chances in the race, as we know. And they're both well on the market. Yeah, so the best bet for me, I'm going to go with uh, willpower. I think he looks really well placed in uh, his race. He's got a good turn of foot. And I think he's uh, ready to win again uh, back here in Class 3. And then Apex Top on an each-way basis there. Uh, Tony Millard's horse, he should get a nice run from the draw. And the, the uh, distance looks ideal for him. Player of the day in race number 7, Will Power, Elite Patch and Enshrine. Righto, my best comes up in the sprint race. Hong Kong win for Joe Barrera, John Sides. Think he can win the Valley Runner Bulletproof race 6, number 12. Victor Wong for Ricky Yu. And we'll go the play with Hong Kong win. Highly proactive, multi-million all down the straight. Skyfield, he's got much better things and bigger things on his radar. If he can beat in a flame, he should be winning the race. Wisdom Patch, hopefully that lake does appear. Didn't mind his debut, wasn't knocked around in a trial. And the play of the day, it's the best Quinella so far this season. In a flame in Skyfield, you won't get rich, but you should indeed get yourself a winner. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us here on Racing to Win. Tom, good tipping like last week again on Sunday. Hopefully, but uh, it was tough on Wednesday night, so we'll see what we can do tomorrow. And yep. no jackpots, Paul, so you're on your own this week. Yeah, no jackpots at all. And uh, looking forward to the, this race, meaning some really good uh, races, and especially that clash in the flame versus um, Skyfield. And good luck with your selections. Whatever way you go on Sunday at Shah 10, go Skyfield so we can stick it up these non-believers here <laughs> on racing to win up against Dinner Flame. Good luck Sunday at Shah 10. Right. <laughs>